Hey guys, Jane here, and I actually wanted to tell you today about my novella, um, Desiring the Doctor. So, Desiring the Doctor is actually um, a sequel to Educating Autumn. Um, if you've read Educating Autumn, you will know that Bianca and Rachel leave the town after um, they run away. They run away from the town that they're living in. They run away from abusive husbands. And Desiring the Doctor is actually the story of Bianca um, and how she finds love after having left an abusive marriage. So I didn't actually plan when I was writing Educating Autumn to write anything after it. Um, that didn't involve the Lewis family, which are the main characters in Educating Autumn. Um, in Educating Autumn, I did have like a set of, oh, I want to do this with the Lewis characters and tell these stories and these romances. But I hadn't really thought much about Bianca and Rachel. Um, however, when I was listening to the audiobook version of Educating Autumn to approve it um, for sale, I realized that we never find out, found out what happened with Bianca and Rachel. They, they left, and we know the effect it had on Autumn, but she couldn't know what happened with them. Um, and because of the things that happened to her after they left, it wasn't like they were going to send her a letter and be like, hey, we're great. So I decided I wanted to um, do some exploring of the world, um, and also to wrap up like, hey, Bianca and Rachel, they're okay. They, they survived, they didn't get killed on the way. So... Bianca and Rachel had left um, Cat's Eye Valley, and they end up in, in Madame Valentine's establishment. If you've read the first book, you know what that is. Um, and initially, you have uh, them doing housekeeping. They're not doing the prostitution that happens at Madame Valentine's. But on the other hand, you... They, they aren't making very much money. They're just making enough to cover room and board, and they're basically boarding upstairs with everybody else. And it, it's not much of a life. It's more of an existence. And, you know, it's better, absolutely better, than being married to their jerk husbands who are abusing them. But it's definitely, like, not the life they want. And Rachel and Bianca both start, Bianca mostly, start wanting more. Like, Rachel is pretty broken as a character at this point. You know, she's been through a lot. She's the one... Um, if you've read the previous books that just kept getting pregnant and her babies would die. She just kept having miscarriages because of her abusive husband. And um, so she's a pretty broken character. She She's not really functional. She's very depressed. But Bianca just loves her. That is like her sister. That's the only family she has is how she feels about her. They're not really sisters, but... They feel like they're sisters because of everything they've been through. And Bianca just wants to create this wonderful life for them. And so she goes to Madame Valentine and basically is like, hey, I think I want to move into the role of prostitute because that's the only way we're going to make real money and that's the only way I can get a better life for Rachel. And Madame Valentine says, I don't think you'd make a good prostitute, partly because of your history and stuff. But... There's a, a guy who, in our town, a doctor, who needs basically a receptionist. So can I send you over there and you can go work for him? And she's like, okay, I could do that. So she goes and she meets James. And James is the town, not the town doctor, I shouldn't say that. He's the doc, one of the doctors in the area. And... You know, at first, she has no use for a man. She's gotten out of an abusive marriage. She doesn't want anything to do with anybody. But then she feels kind of attracted to James. And he's really nice. He's a good guy. He's smart. He's all the things her husband wasn't. And slowly but surely, she kind of, she, she starts to fall in love with him. She starts to do more with him, work more with him. And it's, it's a lot of fun. They... They end up together. It's it's a very steamy book. Um, probably one of the more steamy ones I've written, which I'm not sure that was totally intentional. 
um, I was at a place in my writing career where I just started doing the fiber and just started doing erotica. And so I really kind of upped my steam level there. And people had mentioned that in reviews that it was quite steamy and maybe too steamy for some audiences. Um, but with the characters, I did feel like it was appropriate because, you know, she'd had enough background in things to want to be okay with being a prostitute. So clearly she was okay with her and James getting together and stuff got hot. Um, Desiring the Doctor is one of, or is the only to, the, to date um, biracial romance I have. James is black and Bianca is white. And that doesn't play a huge role in the story because it is a dystopian novel and it doesn't mean culturally what it would mean in a contemporary novel. Like he did come from a different country, but it, not the same way that it would be today if in a contemporary biracial romance. Um, I am in the process of writing a second biracial romance, but that is part of my um, Barton tie-in series, Bewitching the Baron. It is an MM. So, um, it's not quite the same, but I just wanted to let you know if you are thinking of picking up Desiring the Doctor and biracial romance isn't really your thing, you know, leave it alone. Um, but yeah, it's a novella and I did not turn it into a paperback, which is why I don't have anything to show you. Um, I probably could have and should have, but I was still a fairly new writer when I wrote that. And I wanted to kind of explore the story in a different way. And I am a natural underwriter, so I kind of underwrote it without realizing so much that I was an underwriter. And by the time everything was done, I was just, I felt like it was good. Um, could I have gone back and added to it? Probably. It's, it's close to novel length. I think it's 35,000 words. But it's a fun story. If you enjoyed educating on them, I definitely recommend going on and reading it. Um, it could be read as a standalone, but the world will make a lot less sense if you have not read educating on them. So um, there wasn't really anything like in a lot of my other videos about my books, I have like, oh, and this is how I was inspired to write that. And I guess I really wasn't on this one. It was one of those things that I was listening to the audiobook and I was like, I should figure out what happened to Bianca and Rachel. And I love country doctors. I work in the medical field and I love country doctors. Like the doctors that are just, they became doctors because they love people and want to help and they're devoted to people. And so he was a doctor and I don't know, it just, it just worked and I really love doctors. So I don't have a good story about why I wrote it. I just did. Um, and it was a long time ago, so I'll be honest. I don't remember as much about it as I probably should. Like, I remember the basics, but it, it's, it was fun. I learned stuff, but it was a while ago. Um, I definitely, it's not on the top of, like, my favorites of the books I've written, but I think it, it was good and definitely worth a view or a read. Um, it is also on Audible if you're interested in getting it like free, free for, through your Audible credits, if that's something you do. Um, if you're interested. Alright guys, this has been Jane. Thanks, bye.